Hey folks, how's it going? We're checking out more Royal Family. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Enjoy the last episode, man. This show just has such a natural like vibe to it. I've mentioned this before that it's similar to how I grew up until I got a bit older and we kind of fractured throughout the house where we separated to our own rooms and stuff. And we really stopped hanging out in the living room together and all that. But it does remind me, my mom complained about the bills, leaving doors open and all that. Now I know a lot of writers are influenced by like, you know, life events, stuff that happened to them in real life. People they knew in real life, you know, the whole shebang. So what I'm saying isn't really anything special, but the stories I have here are really feel like they came out of somebody's life they don't feel embellished at all you know yeah i don't know all the episodes are that way man they're just so simple and enjoyable but yeah man enjoyed the previous episode let's just go and jump to this one folks and we'll talk about it more at the end stop messing with your hair denise she's done it lovely oh is it too princess anne no. no i wanted a load of bitch you know all hanging round on my face it'll all be hanging round your face if you're not careful i'll do it you know what i want it don't yeah. you show she's shite that sandra Bezik. She weren't interested, were she, ma'am? No. She were definitely hung over. Anyone want a sandwich? Oh, no! I'm doing one for myself. Is that all right, Barbara? Yes! Oh, what's she filling her face for at this time? She's got all day to fill her face. Have you had any breakfast, Denise? I've not been able to keep out down. Have I, ma'am? I've got butterflies flags in my stomach like you won't believe. Got my hands, Cheryl. Mm. Oh, you are. He's really tight. He's pinching me under the arms. Is it egg? You look gorgeous and all, ma'am, don't you, Cheryl? <laughs> well, I have to get something good. Dave's mum's got a suit from Marks. Can't let the side down, can I? Now, right, look at me. Right, be honest. Have I got too much blusher on? Oh, you can't have too much blusher on on your wedding day. Yeah. You're the blushing bride, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cheryl, light as a feather. Oh, thanks, love. I'm a bag of nerves. Hey, should have a drop of brandy. I smell like straight cigarettes. Oh, I don't know if I should stink a booze today. Yeah, yeah, all right, just a little one. Well, you might as well, you're going to smell cigarettes. I they're all down feathers. Yeah. You all right, ma'am? Well, don't worry about me. I'll see to myself. Have you got a bit of piccalilli for this cheese, Barbara? I had a look, but I couldn't see any. I put a seat to yourself, lady. And I don't like to root on the wedding day. Yeah, you'll have to put it on yourself. Yeah. It's Gwen's husband's funeral on Monday. I said to Gwen, so, it's the wedding on the Saturday and the funeral on the Monday. Yeah. Oh, no, let's do drunk. Oh. 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 O
It'll all be downhill from here, won't it, Barbara? Oh, leave it, <laughs> ma'am. Good got job. Them earrings. There you are, love. Thanks, Nana. Now, ma'am, are they somewhat old or somewhat borrowed? Borrowed. I'm sorry, love, but I couldn't part with them even for you. Here, yeah, have this then. Have oh. this. Oh. Your heart necklace. Yeah. Oh, oh ma'am, for keeps. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, what's it look like? Oh, it looks lovely, it looks mm. lovely. Oh, Shadow got me his car. Oh, I'm not kinky. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If I get married again, the something blue will be the veins in my legs. <laughs> hey, do you want a little brandy, ma'am? No, thanks, love. You know I don't drink. Go on, just a little small one. Oh, uh, well, just to wet me whistle then. <laughs> just Make it a double it while you're at it, will you? <laughs> that were a nice bit of it's cheese, Barbara. Where did you get it? In the precinct. Oh. You all right, kiddo? Ah, yeah. Not long now, eh? No. I just want to give you a little bit of advice. Now, my own dad gave me this advice years ago on my wedding day, so it's genuine. Just a little tip, just something to keep them sweet. If you're going for a night out with the lads and you think you're going to be in about 11.30, tell her you won't be back till 12. Then when you get back at 11.30, she'll be made up because she'll think you've come back early. For her, do you know what I'm saying? Just one step ahead, it's just a little tip, but... It, Keeps you in there, good books. Uh, good one, that, Jim. Well, it's up there for thinking, down there for dancing. <laughs> oh, Denise, you look lovely. This is still my dressing gown. I know, but if you look that good in the dressing gown... Hey, this is your last chance. I've got a fast car downstairs, I've got two tickets for Rio in the glove box and a load of knock-off sports gear in the boot. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're tempting me now, Twiggy. What sort of sports gear have you got? I've got a load of tracky bottoms. I'm getting them out at the reception. I'll sort you out. How's Dave? Well, I'm not sure that he isn't having second thoughts. I mean, he's got a lovely suit on, but he's wearing running shoes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> don't, Twiggy. I'm dead nervous. Unless you're already stressed out. Can you imagine what a state I'd look if he didn't turn up? Hey, imagine what a state he'd look when you caught him. He's skipping off nowhere. I'll break his legs for you if I have to. Oh, cheers, Twiggy. Hey. Have a great day. Ta. See you, kiddo. Denise. She's still thinking about it. I think if there's no one better, I'm going to cop with him tonight. Ah, I've been made up without him. Hey, Dave, I've just popped my head around the corner. She's far too good for you, you ugly get. Now, oh, come on, Mucker. <laughs> I'll make sure he doesn't do a runner. OK, Twig. Uh, see ya. See ya, hey, ladies. Hey, girls. You all right, Joe? Yeah. I'm just, uh, this boring, dude. just going through my speech. Oh. I've got to walk a fine line here with Dave's family coming. I don't want to be, uh, too blue. All oh, right, right. <coughs> just hear him. Aye. Hey, I tell you what. Your shadow looks smart in her dress, doesn't she? Aye, she does. She's cutting her under the arms. What is? The dress. Oh. Uh, she said she's too fat for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jim, Bogus. it's the big day. I'm as nervous as if it were my own. I tell you what, Mary, you look bloody lovely. You look like one of them uh, leprechauns. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Jim. Is that a compliment? You didn't see an Poor Denise was crying earlier. Oh. oh, I know. It's all right. Your Cheryl's with her now and they're bitching about Beverly Macker. Oh, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> Anthony, will you turn that thing down? What are you doing cleaning them in here? Get a newspaper down. Is this up too far forward? No, we can still see your face. I'm only joking. <laughs> right, she wants a whiskey. Oh, no, not for me, thanks, Jim. Joe? Ta, ta. Anthony? Won't tell you again. Turn that telly down. I just turned it. Turn it again. Barbara? Yes, please. Just a little one, love. Nice. No, ma. Yes, please. <laughs> I have one, Dad. She has to quick that time. No. Look at Anthony's lovely haircut. 
He looks like a little choir boy. He looks like a little gay boy. <laughs> <sighs> Do you know, I've been so busy this morning, I've hardly had time to smoke. I'm blasted that kid. This one now. It is. How are you, Joe? His outfit. Oh, <laughs> Joe. Bloody hell, steady on, Joe, you silver tongue chap. <laughs> <laughs> this outfit. Oh, it's my last day here. You miss us, Aunt? Oh, yeah, like a hole in a parachute. I'm having your room. Get lost, that's my room. What if me and Dave want to stop over? We only live down the bloody road. Mum, will you tell him? Oh, we'll talk about it later, love. Now, don't forget, when you get to Tenerife to give us a ring, I want to know how you're getting on. Yeah. It'll be in the middle of the night. I'm off in that room, I don't care. Barbara, we'd better be off. Our taxi will be here in a minute. All oh, right, love. Cheryl, that looks right tight on you, that dress. Oh, Lord. That's the style of the dress. Oh. <laughs> Barbara, I'm shitting like a newborn baby in it. Oh, trust you to get the runs on a day like today. It's not like that with me. I thought <laughs> today I'd see some movement, but no. <laughs> Tell me what, Barbara, you I could take this back in my cab if you want. Barbara, what have we got for the trots? We've got nothing. Thanks, Cheryl, love. I'll give you some money towards the fair. Nanny, you'll have to get someone else to run you home. Oh, no, and I don't like to ask anybody else. Oh, but you don't mind asking the groom. On their wedding day. Mum, will you tell her? Ma'am. You'll have to get a taxi. I can't do that. My shoes are upstairs. It'll cost me a fortune. Anthony, go and see if the bloody cameras is open with you, son. <sighs> there's no time. The taxi will be here in a minute. Well, there's no time. There's no time to watch the bloody telly, so get it off. Jim, Jim, why don't you just stop off at the chemist on the way to the church? We're not stopping off at a bloody chemist. Well, me sat in the back in my bride's just like a knobhead. Oh, I'm a bag of nerves now. Oh, I'll show you nerves on the back of the car, see if you want. Oh, right, Anthony. <laughs> over the road, ask Lorraine if she's got Gross. it. Go on, come on, shift yourself. You, I think I'm through the worst of that now. I'll see you later, Jim. <laughs> see you later. OK. You ruined that moment. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming to you, Nana. Bloody hell. Who else, you know, we're getting a bloody taxi ass first, like eh? Hey, your mum looks great, doesn't she? She's done you really proud, kid. Even our bloody Anthony scrubbed up well. <sighs> hey, what's the two? Nothing. It's just the last time I've been Denise Royal. It's really weird getting married. I don't even know whether I like it. Soft. You bloody love it, won't you? You look amazing. You look like a real princess. I'm dead proud of you. I never could keep down a job. It doesn't bloody matter now, does it? Let the other silly bugger do it. Oh, the <laughs> Here's the bloody dame. Hey, look at that. What a car. It's a pity we're only going to the bloody church in it, isn't it? Tell her I'm not ready yet, right? Dad, you know I never say anything nice to you. And I'm always going on at you for, for picking your nose and farting. Well, you know, I... You and me, Matt, both of you. More than anything. I know. I know. Some good makeup. I'm surprised I didn't run or anything. This, is it just mascara that runs? I don't know if I make up even comment. <laughs> so, all right, man. That was a really good episode, man. I guess we're not going to see the wedding, but I guess we don't need to. We're not going to hear a speech or anything, unless that's in the next episode. I didn't say to be continued or nothing, so probably not. The grandmother was funny. <laughs> She was so negative the whole time. She was negative in the other episodes too, but she was like extra negative. She was like landing on. And I love how in that moment everything got really chaotic. Like <laughs> everything's falling apart. Oh no. Him already about getting her bedroom. The dad has the shits. Uh, the grandmother complaining about shoes. <laughs>
There's just so much going on. Things are falling apart. They had just got her stress level down. It's going back up. That was great. That was fantastic. I love the sweet moment she had between her mom and her dad showed up. <laughs> Talking about taking a shit. And I think I'm past the worst. And the moment they had. It was very different moments, man. Very different, but full of love. Those are done really well. I liked it. I wonder how the show is going to be going forward. Like, is she not going to be in the living room as much? Is it going to take place outside the living room a lot more? Or is her and Dave just going to continue to show up and they're going to do it that way? You know? Because the majority of the show takes place in the living room and Porsche's in the kitchen. But, you know, things get swapped up all the time in shows. So, you never know for sure. What's the old girl's name? Cheryl? I wonder if she's going to end up um, hooking up with the Twiggy guy at the wedding. And if they're going to actually end up in a relationship. Or if it's just going to be a fling kind of thing. All in all, this is a really good episode, man. This was funny and entertaining throughout the entire thing. Just them getting ready for a wedding. It was hilarious, dude. All of them drinking and smoking and stressing out was just fantastic. Out of all the episodes I've seen so far, I have to say I enjoyed this one the most, man. This one was the most entertaining. Probably because it was so chaotic. I don't know. It had a different energy to it, you know? And I really enjoyed it. All right, folks, man. That is it. That is all for this one. Hopefully, you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.